Hey there, AJ in the Valley here. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, overview of what my at-home uh, web development setup is like. I know I haven't done a screen capture video in quite a while and today I just wanted to share with you how I have my Peppermint OS set up for web development. Um, can't show you anything that I'm working on for work and of course that's on my my work laptop but this is very similar very close to what I'm I'm using um, at work and um, I'll show you something that I want to work on that I don't really it, it's just an add-on thing um, that I'd like to see done for work because I see a need for it per se um, but it's of my own own idea so well kind of I'm, I'm stealing an idea and, and making it usable with my company so um, uh, let's open up a web browser because um, that's where most of the uh, magic is happening so um, I use Firefox of course on Peppermint OS and so what I have set up is I have my local host and my local host is um, set up to use um, Apache 2 a very standard um, everyday uh, web server um, and uh, so I, I use that in combination with because um, at my facility that I work in we develop in cold fusion but um, at home um, there is of course an free and open source version okay so here is um, the Lucy server which is well it's the it's a cold fusion or a CFML um, open source version of, of cold fusion um, and so it runs through Tomcat, which I have set up. And so you can see, um, let's see, test.cfm. And you can see here, it's very similar uh, if you're at all familiar with Cold Fusion. So I just, I basically have a H4 tag or something here testing to see if Lucy is working and I dumped an output uh, or a, I did a CF dump because it uses all the cold fusion tags um, of a query and you can see here and this is erroring out because I hard coded a um, insert statement and I've already inserted this data into um, Uh, into the table into the database so um, I, ha I do have Lucy up and running and then um, this is kind of what I'm working on right now I'm trying to get my head wrapped around cards and whatnot because what I'd like to do for for my work um, we do work on a ticketing system. Um, uh, if you're familiar at all with um, with Jira or or um, uh, I can't remember what some of the other ones are, but it's very similar to that. We we so um, yeah. So I I'm working on um, trying to develop a um, system here. I'm I'm trying to get my head wrapped around cards and whatnot because. Um, we work on a ticketing system at work, um, but it doesn't capture like walk-ins and whatnot. So sometimes, if you're you're scratching down on a, on a sticky note or you're sending yourself an email or something like that, um, there is a chance that it could be lost in translation. So what I would like to develop is all right.
is something based off of Trillo, which um, is a closed closed system, but it, it looks very nice. So what what my plans are is to to take the Trello site. Um, it won't won't be exactly the same at all, um, but uh, to develop something that looks very similar to the Trello site. So I have a I'll have a to do list, something that I'm working on, and things that are done. So it, it's very typical of um, of other ticketing type systems that you may have where you can drag and drop things in. But this way I can capture. Um, everything that I need to work on, or what uh, what's in my what's in my bucket, um, that's not being tracked by the the actual system, and and I can move it around. Um, uh, this, uh, like I can I can color color it, save it. And now it's got a little color bar. So, say I'm, um, you know, doing surveys or something like that for for a particular group, and I, I could choose a color, and and to me, my color would be, you know, whatever. Um, so that is kind of what I'm starting um, here, and for my back end at home anyway. Um, I'm using um, PHP my admin uh, to administer my database and um, what I'm doing is I'm just I'm running a um, MariaDB And so here's PHP my admin. Here's just a, an empty um, database that that I created um, as I'm going through some training on Lynda.com um, for Cold Fusion. Um, but there's uh, there's some different uh, databases there. Um, a lot of this stuff is just came when I installed. I, I originally installed um, MySQL, but um, uh, I prefer its fork, Maria, so that, that's what I'm going with here at home. Um, and for the last thing I'll, I'll show you is um, this is my Atom setup. So you can see this is this is the nav bar that you saw on the on the previous page and and so here it is and then I just do a, a CF include and that drops it in on the top of uh, on that website and I've got a card class and you can see that I've got uh, um, jQuery and bootstrap um, loaded up um, this way I can use the CDN as opposed to uh, downloading the files but uh, normally how I work um, is I, I have the files downloaded and I work off of those files as opposed to pointing out because sometimes they change sometimes the the paths will move and then you break your website um, I love Atom um, it's a great um, I have a, a great little editor um, I love how the panel can move in and out I'm using the material design um, really cool thing I downloaded the CFML tag set so I can do a, a CF dump and it will give me and it will auto complete that um, and then I can can output I don't have a query um, so or, or anything really to output so that wouldn't make any sense but um, even spelt right I can do div and then I have a class and you see that I did the closing tag so that that's awesome um, on larger pages I have um, a mini map right here which is a, an amazing tool so I can kind of co kind of see where my code is and um, be able to move around a lot quicker um, packages also 
I have Atom Beautify, so sometimes when you're coding and you're just trying to get things done, um, it's not quite formatted the prettiest, so you just come in here after you're all done, do Atom Pretty uh, Beautify, and it'll, this one isn't very big, so it probably won't have a whole lot to actually do, um, if it does anything at all and it didn't it, it's back it's it's up and running let's see if I have um, uh, display table index let's see if this one will this one's a long page and we'll run the beautify on that and it it moved some things around, not a whole lot, but because uh, I didn't write this page, this was in one of my documents. But um, makes it read more readable. Um, over here, I have a um, icons theme that uh, just so I can see. This is a CFM. This is a ICO a window or a HTML HTML5. Um, and then uh, see here JavaScript uh, some CSS let's see CSS logo so I think it's just it, it's pretty um, I like the material theme it's a lot easier on the eyes than uh, a, a stark white background especially when I'm coding for eight plus hours a day and uh, come home and trying to teach myself some more coding. Um, uh, so that is my setup in a nutshell. That's um, one of the ideas that I have that I'm working on my off hours. It's not anything that uh, um, you know was asked of me. Um, I'm just basically going to build it for myself. If work wants to use it, then that's fine. I mean, okay, why why not just use Trello? Well. Um, I don't think my work establishment would want me using a third-party software that's not sanctioned so I'm going to build one myself um, and then present it to my group and if they want to use it that's awesome if they don't that's okay um, I think it would be beneficial for me and my workflow and um, so yeah I'm gonna base it off of Trello and uh, it even if I don't end up using it, it'll be a great learning experience because uh, Trello is using some pretty amazing technology, uh, JavaScript, jQuery, um, and uh, you know some pretty cool styling and stuff. So um, I'm going to shoot for the stars and try to build something myself um, for in-house uh, use. And uh, th this is uh, this is my setup. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one, real soon.